constitution saving throw, you yes. said? Yes. Yes. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so you take sixteen points of damage. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Um, Sergio, you fail, so you take thirty-two points of damage. Oh, jeez. I Which definitely glad makes, to go in there. Makes him unconscious now. I am unconscious, guys. Yes. Malik also takes 32 points of damage. So he's suddenly on the ground, like he's on one knee, he's wounded. He's still he's still conscious, but you could tell that really hurt him a lot. So Okay, so he's there. Pork soda also was really hurt by that. And he's 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 uh, there. Yes. Because I do have the construction <laughs> style for uh Force users. Okay, this is destroyed. This is destroyed. Uh, one of the Padawans is unconscious. Uh, unconscious, and the other one is looks like she she's uh, on the brink of life. Penny. Yes. Brink of life or brink of death? Brink of. I, I I'm actually uh, I have this disrupt file that says once per round when a hostile creature attempts to cast a power while within five feet of you, uh-huh. they must first make a constitution saving throw as if to maintain concentration. Okay, so they have to do it? Yeah, oh! You're all the one. What? Oh! Okay, wait, what am I looking at, though? Go to the notes. It's uh-huh. a disruption style. Remember how we got to choose our fighting styles? Uh-huh. You go to my, uh, my character, it has a, a, a copy and paste of the thing to the the notes. Okay. It says once per round. When, when you a force a creature, creature to make a con- when you when you. No, no, no. The second part. Once per round. When a hostile creature attempts to cast a power within five feet of you, they must first make a con- to maintain the concentration. DC equals ten plus the power's level. On a failure, the power isn't cast. Any points uh, and any points are wasted. Okay. So he actually disrupted him. So as as all of a sudden, you know, Scourge re- releases that shout, and you all start to feel like you're in, you're in a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Serago goes, he does a quick little jab to his throat, and it kind of, like, he's completely stunned. And he's like, like what the heck just happened? Like, it didn't hurt him. He felt no pain. He's just was caught off guard, and, you know. So, so, yeah. Yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> and then so yeah so uh, yeah everything's okay <laughs> everyone's okay <laughs> so. okay and then scourge feeling that that anger you know that that his ability was interrupted he uses a a heroic action where he's going to where he suddenly does quickly uses a, an ability he you were completely caught off guard, Sergio. It says, use a stasis ability. It says, choose a creature that you can see within range. Target must succeed a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. So he... Let me see. You have to make a wisdom saving throw of 15 versus his DC 10, 19. Oof. So you are you're you're paralyzed at the moment. <laughs> so you're in a complete stasis and you cannot move. In one minute in one minute or ten turns, you can you can try to break free again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um so that was his turn. Next the Padawan. So the Padawan one of oh, one of them attacks and it does a six the other one attacks and it does a four so they both try to attack the turret that that was flying around but they both missed now the turret attacks one of the padawans and it also misses this one shoots at pork soda and it hits for three damage so pork soda you are at 38 hit points all right okay doodle so the ships that were heading towards you guys are getting closer to you guys. Do you want to do anything? What are you doing right now? In my Park Soda suggestion. Yes, yes, I remember. And I business. Yes. I still relay, relay to the team again, like, 
Can y'all like speed it up, please? <laughs> I want to leave. I want to leave, or I'll leave you guys here behind. Okay. No, I'm coming. Hold on. I'm about to place two bombs there, freaking bridge, so that we can get the hell out of here. Okay. So he, he's so you're preparing to to detonate the bridge, right? So you're you're yes, putting sir. the bombs and you're getting ready to to seal the doors and and have it blow once they're inside the ship. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so uh, Milar, what would you like to do? Can I force pull for I'll go do me? You can force pull him? Uh, like, is there, is there a weight restriction on, on force pull? Um, mm, can you start find control opening container? Alternatively, you can push or pull a creature or object you can see. I mean, he is technically a creature. Uh, a tiny creature object can move up to 20 feet. Small creature object can move to 10. Medium creature... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, on a failed save throw. Saving. I'm not really attacking him. I just want to pull him. Pull him. him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, say the power when you reach include <laughs> higher levels. At level 5, I can move tiny creatures or objects up to 30 feet. Medium-sized creatures? Yeah. No, I meant is there a restriction for medium-sized creatures? Hold on. Uh, let me just read it. Uh, you use the force to move a medium or small creature or object not being worn or carried within range. The target must make a strength saving throw. An object um, automatically fails this saving throw. On a failed save, the creature or object moves a number of feet in the direction of your choice based on its size. Mm -hmm. um, a medium creature or object can move up to five feet. Okay, so you can literally pull him into the doorway. <laughs> yeah, um, you can. He's not going to be able to resist since he's in complete stasis, so he's literally paralyzed. Awesome. Um, you could do that. I, can I make a suggestion? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you could probably just go in there and, and pull him okay. yourself. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> All right, I'll go in there and pull him out. <laughs> I'm just... Just gonna throw that out there if you get if that's something that if that's if that's your major goal is to just yeah, move him out. Major goal you can, you can, can you know, I mean he's only he's only about five feet away from you, so Okay. You can I just shuffle. Like you can just make a little shuffle. Yeah. And and then use your your movement and your action to kind of carry him and pull him at the same time. Okay. You'd only be able to move at half your speed, though, so you'd only be able to move them about 15 feet away. Would I just use my Leonin agility, then? No, because you're, no. you'd are you be overweight. Overweight, okay. Yeah. All right, 15 feet. So, I'm carrying you out. Yeah, so if you <laughs> move yourself <laughs> to where you are, and he would be one space behind you, wherever one you end up. If you go one, two, three, wherever you end up, he's one space in the direction one, where you came from. Where's the towards the ship? North of you. North. Yes. So like hey, Danny. Here? Yes. So it says at the end of each turn I can make a save for the stasis. Is it up. at the end of each turn? Yeah, it says the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw and be uh, which one are at the end. <laughs> At the end of each turn, can make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm sorry. Success. I was looking at the duration. It said one I'm minute. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you have you can do it at the end uh, uh, on your next turn. Yes. I love that. Okay. But it takes up my turn if I uh, right. Yes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Any day now. All right, so... I'm <laughs> coming! Okay, so next would be Malik now. So Malik, uh, again, uh, he jumps towards Scourge, and he does a jumping kind of strike. Um, but he completely misses. And all of a sudden, you see him swing, and he hits the control panel on the ship. Ah, so all of a sudden, the, when he does that, the shields on the ship go down. The ship is like, um, so all of a sudden, the ships go down. The fighters that were outside earlier, they, they start shooting the ship and it hits the direct shots on it. So now all of a sudden, the, you hear smoke, you see crashes, there's like things that are electrified. So you see the Jedi stopped attacking the ship, but 
the ship is out of commission at the moment. And um and then the as dark as it was before, now they're like no more light sources other than, you know, whatever sources you guys can generate. Because all of the lights and the monitors on the on the computer are pretty much off or they're flickering. Great. Okay. All right, so that's Malik's so glad turn. Go in there. <laughs> that I'll go. I'm so glad you're going in there. You're gonna do your your save, right? Yeah. All right, you rolled a ten. You are still in stasis. Even with his modifier. Yes. I think I need to get nineteen. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, just consider me permanently paralyzed. Because <clears throat> what, what's your wisdom modifier? Plus two. Yeah, plus two. So you you rolled a twelve. Well, okay. It's a 17 or higher. 18 or higher. I mean, it wouldn't cancel out if it's exactly no. 19? No, you have to beat it. Ew. Yeah. Um, okay, so he's still, un- he's still paralyzed. So, Pork Soda, now that the lights are off and everything, you, you, um, do, you want, um, do you want to yell out anything to your Padawans? Any kind of instruction? Pork Soda, make it. Park Soda make it very clear to everyone that is not the Jedi. Padawans, we will fight a Sith to the end. I make it clear to everyone on the other ship to get out okay. as soon as possible. Okay, Pork and Soda then, will uh-huh. take on the Sith. Okay, and then suddenly you see Pork Soda, what he does something that you weren't expecting. So he all of a sudden you see he uses the force and the doors that are completely stuck open right now, he Pull, pulls them both closed and they crushes them. So now the doors are, are jammed closed and the doorways are crushed completely. And all of a sudden, in the darkness, all you hear is multiple lightsabers. Just You guys can hear them through the other side of the door, but you guys don't see what's happening. But right now, all of, all of a sudden, you just hear a lot of lightsabers um, slashes like because Scourge, Malik, and Pork Soda are, are fighting a duel to the death in the other room. And and and, and sometime in between that, the, the other turret ended up getting destroyed somehow. <laughs> okay, so the doors are closed. There's still one turret on your side. The two padded ones are still there. Um, so one of them kind of just falls to the ground in sadness after she saw the sacrifice that her master made. And the other one starts to kind of run and pick up the, the other Padawan and starts to try to head out towards the ship. Okay. Um, Milar? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go. go. I'm to go! I just try to haul ass with him on my, okay. on my back. <laughs> okay. So remember, you're still in initiative. So yeah. yeah. So you're going to run this way? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, the turret never shot. Oh, yeah. The turret has to shoot. Shoot, okay, right. the shirt shoots at you, but it misses. Okay. Okay, so now you're running. I'm running. Okay, so one, two, three. One, yeah. two, three. Okay, <laughs> so you're yes. right there. Okay, so all of a sudden, um, the lightsaber that you guys were hearing, it, it sounds like it, it kind of goes intense. You hear uh, a large crash of lightning. And you also hear what sounds like somebody got pushed into the door that's right by you. And you kind of see like a tiny little light look like it gets slashed through the door. It didn't go all the way through, but you could kind of start to see like the heat wave on your side. Okay, so the Padawan runs this way. The other Padawan runs this way. And then all of a sudden you see, uh, and then the turret shoots at you again this time it hits you it does Uh it it shot the oh the the repeater so it does six points of damage okay okay i'm hurt but i'm okay (laughs) okay (laughs) and um oh wait no sergio's on your back sergio took six points of damage (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) you are up I'm just running with him on my back. Let's go. Okay. One, two, Okay, three. so once you get past that hallway, the, the turret can't see you, and you you make it to the other ship. Okay. Or you start, you make it into the into the, the hallway entrance into the other ship. Okay, so suddenly, as, as you guys are, are there, okay, um, 
So uh, together, heading into the to the other ship, the tunnel. So um, Ice Dragon, Arturo, you're already you're already ready, right? You're ready to go. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to go. Okay. So ready so AJ Ooh. is currently all of a sudden he's going like. Ooh. And you, you see him hitting a bunch of buttons because he's like managing the the shield power generators and he's kind of running back and forth between that and the gunner chair because he had the auto turrets on because all of a sudden the six ships are in your range and you see them starting to fire on, on you guys okay so you guys kind of start feeling like shaking on the ship you guys are trying to get through the tunnel um did you leave the door open or <laughs> Obviously, I'm Obviously, waiting for okay. them to come in. Okay, so as you guys were running into the into the tunnel, all of a sudden the door is closed right in front of you, and Scourge appears behind you in the tunnel. Shit. Mother, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Milar, you would still be first on initiative. Okay. Uh, uh, so the doors were forcibly closed. Okay. Um. I really wish I wasn't in stasis. Well, after you did, did, uh, yeah, you still probably have about three or four more turns in stasis because you guys were just running straight to the door. Yep. I... I'm like, should I do intel in or feedback? Ah. Like, did he close forcibly close the door on his ship or no? He ship? forcibly oh, closed the ship, the door on your oh, ship. On ship. Is this tunnel? Can I push him off the tunnel? Would that work? No, it's it's we're enclosed. Yeah, in you're in a way. you're kind of like in a in a bridge. It's kind of like a little walkway area between your ship. They're kind of like think about two metal, like a little metal tube. Okay, it's a tube, so yeah. I can't push him off base. Okay. You right. can't push him into space. You could try to push him into his ship. Yeah, but it might be I... difficult. I mean, he literally just fought off an army of you guys by himself. Yep, yep, he did. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can do feedback, unleash a burst of psychic energy to a target, uh, succeed an intelligence saving throw, or take damage. Uh, but he has to push him back. Ah. <laughs> you don't know what to do. I'm like going to a little bit in my brain, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. I got shot. Does yeah. that break stasis? No. No, he can't. Um, I'll it, just... Literally, Sergio, what the stasis does, it, it makes you helpless. Like, you're you're not unconscious. You're just helpless. You're paralyzed. Sorry, what um, were you saying, sir? Turo? Okay, so since I was right here waiting for them to come uh -huh. in, and I'm pretty sure I saw the door close, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then can I do an attack on the door? On the door? Oh, yeah, the you want to damage your door? door? <laughs> <laughs> I can't open it, right? I mean, yeah, you, you could try. I don't know. <laughs> can I try to open it first? What are you gonna try to do? Just pull it open? I mean, I can't pull it open. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> it's a metal door, Denny. I'm not that strong. All right. Well, there's two other people in the ship with you. One is stuck in the bathroom. Yeah, all you have to do is go open the door. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to use um, Cloud Mind, but with... Why not open the okay. goddamn door? All right, so you're going to use Cloud Mind? I'll use Cloud Mind, but with Force Potency. Okay. Uh, which I'm assuming uses a bit more of my Force Points. Probably. It, uh, it increases the level of it, I believe, right? Yeah, it increases the level to a second level power. Okay. Or higher, actually. I can do it higher. But since I'm only level three, <coughs> why not? Um, so it you to help me open this goddamn door. You can use second level powers, right? Yes. So then, yeah, you can do that. Okay. So in other words, every time you use it, you would try mm -hmm. to increase how many points you would use past up to the maximum that you have. So like, let's oh. say if you were fifth level, if you could use fifth level abilities, you could add um, four extra ones. So 40, uh, uh, 8d8. 8d8. Okay. Yeah, but right now you would be at 5d8 plus one plus 2d8, so 7d8. Yeah. Okay. Shine on me. Two, seven. Okay, I gotta get a calculator. <laughs> Why don't you just roll it on the thing and put like 7d8? You know, on the on the chat for Miss Kate. I just put 7d8. You just type 7d8 in the chat. Oh, okay. There you go. Yay! 42. Okay, that does not affect him. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, he still has way too many hit points for that to affect him. Oh my god. Well, we all know he has more than 42. <laughs> no, no, no. 42 yeah. left. 
after whatever damage he took in that fight. Oh, that's true. 42 left. <laughs> More than 42 left. Yes. So. To be fair, I think I'm like the only one that's actually damaged him, so... Yeah. I think Pork Soda <laughs> might have damaged him the most, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's Millar's turn, right? So you did that, and you can't really move now because you still have Sergio. And uh, so next would be Arturo. Give me an, give me an initiative roll real fast. Hey. I want to see where you would be on the initiative if you end up getting into initiative. It will be this plus my what again? No, no my... nothing. It's just your initiative roll. Uh, sixteen. Okay. So you would be okay here. So next would be bonus. Malik, who's currently not here. And then it would be Siralgo. Give me your wisdom roll. Siralgo, let's see. You, you, you would be nine, 18. Nine, plus 220. Nice. You're, you're, you break your paralysis. So Two. you're no longer you're no longer a crutch to your party. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Tudo, what were you gonna do? So you opened the door to Qatar, right? Well, to the issue the... too. Huh? You don't, you don't want to be nice. A bonus action, Benny? <laughs> um. Either way. What bonus action? <laughs> Opening up a portal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, you're good. You're you're you're, you're paralyzed. It's it's too much. <laughs> I mean, you barely broke through it, so it was maybe if you rolled yeah, a twenty. You, I would give it to you maybe if you rolled I, a twenty, huh? But you said that I wasn't totally unconscious. Yeah, you were completely helpless, and you've yes, just been so being carried. I, you know, so you wake up and you're so being maybe, carried by Millar. <laughs> no, but you said I wasn't unconscious. That means I knew the situation I was in. I just couldn't do anything. Mm. No, sorry, Sergio. <laughs> you you won't have an action because it w that was your action breaking free of it. If if anything, you could probably move a little bit, but you're being carried. So the best thing you could probably do is hop off. But it's a bonus action, then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no bonus action. Okay. So you just don't want to make it easy. <laughs> okay. So um, next would be da da da. Next, it would be Scourge, right? Yeah. Next, it would be Scourge. So as Scourge starts kind of walking towards you guys, it's, it's not like he's chasing you now. He's just walking towards you guys. Suddenly, Pork Soda appears behind him in the tunnel. And what does Pork Soda say? Pork Soda here to take out the trash. Finally, for good. <laughs> so... Pork soda. Let me see how you roll. Put the this garbage in the dumpster. Okay. Okay. okay, that works. So, pork soda. Suddenly, he uses a. F um, he pulls. He does a, a force pull to Lord Scourge, and he throws him into his ship. And then suddenly, the doors open up, and he uses a force push on you all, including his Padawans. To throw you Wee! into the into the ship. <laughs> okay, give me a deck save, by the way, <laughs> to see if you guys take any damage. And then the doors close behind you guys. Does it? Yeah, because they were being forced open. Okay. And so you so push them, and they were close. I got fifteen. Fifteen? I got a twenty. <laughs> Alright, Sergio, you rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I mean, it makes sense. I just got out of spaces. So. <laughs> so Sergio takes six points of damage. And the Padawan. Um, the Padawans died. One is fine. Plan. That one takes. That one takes two points of damage. They're both okay. All right, and um, and and suddenly Pork Soda is gone. The door is closed behind him, and all of a sudden you see. You, you just, you, you, as the door is closing, you can see the light, the blue lightsaber starts to swing towards the red lightsaber as another battle ensues on the enemy ship. Uh, Pork Soda did leave hologram message for player <laughs> on toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, which will play as soon as the, everyone is, is in safe distance. <laughs> so... The Padawans quickly run back to their ship 
the to Pork Soda's crew there, and they kind of fly off and start engaging the Sith ships around around you guys. You guys, what do you guys? What, how are you guys? What are you guys doing? So, all right, I see everybody here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so you run to right. your captain uh, chair. Okay, Sergio, and then I. Have I go to my captain chair. The gunner chair. The captain chair. The, the toilet? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, there's only, there's only one other chair left. The other one, is, the only other seat is here in the... In the... <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, yeah. isn't this a, isn't this a sofa? Level? And you lock yourself down? Yeah, that is a sofa. That's uh, a, that... I... oh, yes, sir. It's that's just a regular seat in front of a mirror or like a screen. Can I run up to um, Captain Fluffles and give him some guidance? <laughs> you can try, but you're gonna have to hold on to something. That's okay. Okay, Sir Tudo, are you blowing the yes. doors? I'll hold Definitely. on. Okay. Captain. So all of a sudden, the the ship shakes. Um, the 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 bridge that was connecting the ships exploded. You know, so your ships are detached. What are you guys doing? I'm loose. All right, go. Give me a pilot roll. I'm giving you a plus D4. I got a uh, 19. 19. Okay, so the ship suddenly takes off. You guys, um, give me a a quick dexterity roll, uh, Millar, to make sure you hold on safely. <clears throat> 21. 21. Okay, good. So you're holding on to the chair. Fine. Itchy shields are at full. Sergio, give me an attack roll. Give me a uh, a piloting attack roll. All the twenty. <laughs> I always I keep forgetting seven, seven plus what's your piloting? One. So you rolled an eight. So you guys start flying through. You start trying to shoot the cis ships in your way, but you don't actually hit any of them. But you know, you, you your ship is uh, you are firing at them. Fortunately, the the other Jedi fighters, the three Jedi fighters, are, are still in in combat with most of them. So there's only really one or two that are directly in front of you. The Padawan in the other ship, though, they I'm gonna put it right here so I can actually click on it a little easier. So yeah, so they I end up um, hitting one of the ships. Does for 10 damage to their hull, so it's smoking a little bit. So one of the ships that that was around your ship is 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 damaged. Okay. So Turo, give me another piloting roll. I got a 12. 12. Okay. You can you still are you still using guidance, Millar, or can you still use yeah. guidance? It's an at will power, so I can keep doing. Okay. Damage. Okay. So you get an extra D4, Turo. Shields are still good. And Turo and Sergio. Gunner 14. Okay, and you end up shooting one of the 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 cis ships down. So what was your roll, Turo? With the guided? Uh with the uh, an extra three, so 15. 15. Okay, good. So you guys are are you guys cut through the the little the little dog fight that was happening. So as you guys are, are, are safely out of the conflict zone. So you start heading in one direction uh, as fast as the ship can go. Um, you can Where still see knows? there in the background, you know, on, on the sensors, you can still see that there's lots of these ships fighting in combat with the other ship that was um, that was there where, where you guys were. It's still stationary. It was disabled. So the other all the other ships are just fighting around it. So you guys are safely out of of that encounter. Yay! Okay. So I forget all of Yeah. So all of a sudden, Qatar comes out of the toilet in the bathroom, <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, "Hey, what the hell have you been at? What's what's been going on? Hey, I got a message <laughs> from Pork Soda. So he holds up a, a little hologram." And uh, all of a sudden, Pork Soda leaves a message for you guys. Qatar, I have something to tell you that you were never told as a youngster. I am your grandmother's daughter's son's pet's son. What? 
<laughs> and those would be the last Are words you? that you remember of Pork Soda, <laughs> the brave Gamorian who, who risked his life to save you from Lord Scourge. Yay! Yay? <laughs> you mean last. I mean last. Okay, I'll make a rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now, uh, yeah, that's that's about it, guys. <laughs> so you guys are safely out of of Korriban space range. You guys are heading out into to deep space. So you guys don't currently have a destination. Um, is there anything you guys want to do before we conclude this session? Can I take off my collar now? Yeah, you can take off your collar. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Did you want to check anything else that you had found before? Um, I like to see what this ring of text doing does. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Toro can look at it. Uh, okay. May you please? <laughs> I take it out and show it to him. Okay. So when he gets the ring, he, he actually is familiar with these kind of devices. He, he, re he recognizes that it's a, it's a ring that's attuned that you can attune to a wearer and the ring can store two levels worth of tech powers at a time. Uh, what's it called right now? Currently he knows that it's, it's storing a, um, uh, let me see. It's store. It has already some abilities stored in there in order for him to find out what abilities there are directly on there. He'd have to research it into it a little bit more. But he can already tell that it, it's fully charged with two different abilities. Okay. Ooh, cool. And in, um, so anyone can use it, however, to be, to have it restore, like to anyone can use it at the moment. But if, if you wanted to actually be able to get more abilities out of it, you would have to be able to use tech abilities and you would have to have knowledge of technology to use it. Yes. Yes. I have no use for this. <laughs> I'll take it. If you continue researching, I will give this to you as a thank you for saving my life. <laughs> okay. Um, so is there anything else that you guys wanted to check? Can I check my power level? Your power level? You mean the TV <laughs> leveled up? <laughs> yeah. You don't know that. <laughs> um, okay. So suddenly, you know, so we kind of shift the different scene. So we, uh, as you guys are flying off into space, on on the on the ship, uh, the ship that you guys just left, across the broken bridge through the door, there's a you see there is a the Lord Scourge the 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 Scourge, he you see him entering well you don't see him but he's entering a pod, that that it's kind of an escape pod and the pod shoots itself off into Korriban and on the ship also on the ground you see there is pork soda kind of looking out into the distance through like uh this kind of shielded door that prevented like the atmosphere from coming into the ship and but he can see that that the other ship is leaving and and all of a sudden you know he had a he does a little snort and he has a little smile <laughs> at the at the as a single teardrop comes out from his eyes, and all of a sudden he he eats his final womp rat. And what does Pork <laughs> Soda say at that moment? May the force be with you. <laughs> and and then Pork Soda dies. No. <laughs> so, um, congrats, guys. That was the end of our the first part of our campaign, which is kind of like the prequel. To the campaign oh, great. so you all level up you all gain a level to level four yeah okay and then we will continue the campaign from this point forward <laughs> next time um so yeah what did you guys think that was good yeah cool. yeah yeah so next time we're, we are gonna have to so after this time we we are gonna have to start you know we're gonna start ramping up with 
the knowledge base of the game so i'm gonna make i'm gonna whoever is we, we might have to end up changing the party a little bit just because of what happened with the players so we might need to alter a few things but i i will need to make sure that everyone starts gaining the knowledge of the game better from this point forward okay but aside from that i thought it was great i think you guys are re really got the hang of the game it's the first time for a lot of for some of us to be doing a fifth edition and uh, rpg setting right so hopefully um uh, from this point forward we're just going to go ahead and keep ramping it up and the next section of the campaign is going to be the main campaign part and that should lead you guys pretty much from this point up until the mid-tier levels maybe around level eight to ten okay so everyone i hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far i'm of course standing in i've been your your game master dungeon master we've had seralgo with us who was playing our yes. scout captain fluffles who was doing our operative um milar who was playing our Kassar um sentinel with it right counselor 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 yes we had Qatar who wasn't here with us today, but he was here. <laughs> His character was here and he was playing our, our sis um, berserker, I guess you could call it, or like a sis uh, marauder. Um, Itchy, who was not able to join us today. And then, of course, thank you, Pork Soda, for, for joining us and for rescuing the party once again. My pleasure. <laughs> just, just remember, you guys will never eat the... Uh, when you, next time you guys eat a Womp Rat... You're, 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 it's never going to be the same. You'll, you'll always think of pork soda. <laughs> I will think of pork that is soda. true. That is true. So after this, some, some of you guys may have even felt the light side of the force touch you a little bit. You know, it, you, you, you start to notice that, that, you know, the dark side isn't the only thing. It's especially Qatar. Qatar, you know, his, his light level went up by one point. Oh. <laughs> Cause he, he never, he never knew that pork soda was his. What did you say? Fathers, mothers, brothers, he's, dogs, he's his pets, grandmothers. <laughs> no, he's his grandmother's daughter's pet son. Yeah, there you go. He so wow. he, he no, never he knew that. Know that, and that changed he never him. Knew that. that changed him on the inside. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for joining us, and uh, we'll be back with our new campaign. Probably not for a good while because I have to start getting everything set up for that. But uh, all of these videos will be here, and we will let you guys know. Make sure you guys. Follow the Paladin, subscribe, like the channel, and I will be posting updates on this on our Discord channel. I'll be posting it on on my social media channels, and I'm mainly using Minds now, and uh, maybe Twitter and Facebook. And we'll we'll go ahead and let everyone know. So thanks again, everybody, for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Be safe in real life and in the game, guys. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>